Obviously, I'm really excited about, um, again, the way our team came out and competed um, today, and uh, especially the third and fourth quarter. You know, they battled, and uh, again, we had a lot of excuses, uh, things that while we couldn't play or whatever, we had a lot of us that were sick and all that stuff, and uh, it was never uh, an option for this basketball team, and which I'm really, really proud of. And uh, to win my first uh, city championship, uh, with Duquesne is uh, I'm really, really excited about that as well. To both of you, this is a team that's had your number three and four times. Just how emotional or how high were the emotions in this game and how ready for you guys were you for this game? Um, I mean, emotions are always high. This is a city game. We know each other. This is the fourth time I'm playing at Jasmine's third. So, I mean, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's back and forth all, all the time. I mean, we know each other, so we know what each other weaknesses, strength, so, I mean, it was, it was a great win to make. Really proud of this. How important, given the excuses that Coach mentioned, was that first nine points for you, just getting it going and seeing what's been going in practice and seeing the progress and seeing all that work? Uh, for us, it's been yes. about starting games. We usually take the first half off a little bit and then come back in the second half, and we try to put a big emphasis on starting the game strong, and I think we came out and did that, and we had some lapses, lapses here and there, but we put a whole game together, I think, for the first time this year. Yeah. And you put a full game together with foul trouble for a lot of you guys in that first half. Just what does that say about the depth and what you were able to frustrate Duquesne with on the other side of the ball? Um, our players were able to step up. Um, people from off the bench were able to do things tonight that they weren't doing in the past or didn't have the chance to. So, um, big time on the players who stepped up tonight, and we just kept the focus. Um, for the second, those of us in foul trouble, um, just kept the focus and came back in the second half ready to go, kept the attack mentality. What changed when they kind of ran on that, went on that run to start the third quarter, and what was said after that timeout in the huddle? Yeah, I think one of the um, biggest things was, again, we had some foul trouble, so we started a different lineup. Uh, the second half, and then that was right whenever you guys were coming into the game, uh, Cass, you and uh, we had sub three new players in, and I thought what you said during that timeout was like, we're fine, we're good, now we just got to turn it on, and you went out there and you did, and, and that was a huge point, is that whenever the team is so invested that they can speak the truth, uh, then you know you're becoming a basketball team, and, and that to be able to see players step up and have that voice in those timeouts, uh, is crucial to what we'll do later on throughout the year. Cass, what made you say that in the timeout? Usually that's what a coach says, but you came and stepped in and said that right away. Um, I just have so much confidence with this team. Um, so much confidence in my teammates and what they can do. And I knew we had a full half to play. And what we did in the first half was great, but what we were going to do in the second half was even better. So we just kept the focus and continued to push with that attack mentality, and we got it done. What got into you, I guess, towards the end of the third and the fourth, some timely shots, you put yourselves in the lead, and you guys kept that position and strengthened it, really. Um, it's just the confidence with um, my teammates have and my coaches have. It. Um, I really just kept the focus and stayed engaged. Um, my shots weren't falling for the first half, but I knew they would fall for the second half. So I just had to keep playing and stay in it, and I knew everyone had my back. How big was that pitch back three? For you, Coach, given the energy that this win brings, given the history between these two teams, how can that be channeled as ACC play begins next for you guys? It, it does, and you know, and that's what you know we we wanted to end this year, <laughs> and it works out really well because this is the end of 2018, and now as we chart the next course for 2019 with ACC play, and. Um, and I'm so excited. I love the conference. I think it's the best conference in the country. And now we just have to continue to go and uh, get better every day. And again, I've always said it's about growth. Where we are today is a completely different basketball team than we were three months ago. And you know that is what excites me. And, and I love the growth. And we'll be a different team in a month from now than we are today. And, and so we're just going to keep plugging along and uh, keep getting better every day. Jasmine, seeing when you guys took the lead, they were firing a lot of quick shots. Was that maybe according to what you guys wanted to make them get frustrated, take early shots, and maybe how satisfying was it to see that defense transition into offense? I think that's a big, big emphasis on for us. When uh, we do 
well on defense. Get, we put an emphasis on getting three stops in a row. We put those, we group three stops in a row. Every time we got three stops, we cut the lead or we, we get, yeah. made the lead more. So um, it was. it's always nice to feel them feel like they had to call a timeout instead of us. So that's the <laughs> best uh, feeling in the world in that third quarter when they had to do that. When you start off, obviously, coach coming in this year, how important of a result is this to see that what you guys have been doing is working and continues to work and will improve from there? Well, the very first day he came in, he said, I'm winning the city. I'm not, I'm not losing. So we've just been working ever since he got here. Uh, in what, Mar May? Mar May? When was it? I don't know. I don't know. It's been, yeah, we got so close now. now. I don't know. <laughs> no, but it, it's really, like, it's really satisfying to see the work we put in and it, we have we may, might not have won this game a couple weeks ago, um, but we've grown every game. We put, actually, I'm just so happy we put a whole game together. <laughs> to be honest with you, putting that full forty together, coach. Where does this rank among proudest that you've been of your team? Uh, you know, I, I think this is a big moment in you know in our uh, progression. Is uh, again, this is a game that a lot of people in the city really value, and that to me as a, the coach at Pitt. I value this game and to be able to see our kids come out and perform for 40 minutes that's really really huge and the type of team that we have to be and have to become in the future.